Joining us for a fair and balanced debate are two moms, parenting expert Stacey Nelkin, who doesn't support the Shape Ups for Kids, and AOL Consumer Advisor Regina Lewis, who does not see a problem with the shoes. Uh, to start off, ladies, I'd like to go right to a statement from Skechers. They're saying that the whole message behind Shape Ups is to get people moving, exercising, and getting fit. Skechers advertising for Shape Ups for Girls contains the same messaging being used by the First Ladies Let's Move initiative, which is aimed specifically at children. That statement coming from Leonard Armada, the president of Skechers Fitness Group. Uh, guys, I want to get started. Stacy, if you could weigh in first, is this about body image? What are your concerns? Th there, first of all, there are two messages that, that really upset me here. One is, uh, first of all, the message that we're telling our children that you're not good enough the way you are. You don't look good enough. You have to get in shape. That this society is all about superficiality and your body. More importantly, there is a safety issue here. There are many, many scientists, doctors, foot doctors who have come out saying that these shoes are not good for children. Children's feet are growing, their bodies are growing, and there are risks here. They have a rocking and a rolling sole, which causes huge instability, and kids are getting uh, tendonitis, uh, they're getting Achilles tendons pulled, they're getting hamstrings pulled, and these shoes don't work. That's the other thing. There's I want no to let Regina lay in, weigh in on this as well, get her in on this argument. Uh, Regina, what do you think? No big deal. Is this something fun for little girls? They want to dress up like mom? Well, the safety issue aside, and the verdict is still out on that, I do think little girls want to be like their moms. I also think we're transferring the adult version of the marketing campaign with Kim Kardashian onto the children's campaign. The children's campaign is marketed on sites like Nickelodeon and is a cartoon that says essentially looking fit, having fun, feeling good. And the company is very much on its heels. A little backstory, a 21-year-old feminist blogger got this debate started. The president of the company has now posted a letter on the Huffington Post saying we want to set the record straight. They are on their heels. I think they're surprised. I mean, after all, every other debate we have is about childhood obesity and the epidemic. So you know, there is something else helpful. to note here. These shoes are Why only being made for little girls, not little boys. Uh, so, uh, Stacy, is yes. this a, a sexualizing thing happening? This here? is sexualizing a little girl. Completely sexualizing little girls. There's there's one thing between you know pulling out mommy's shoes from the closet and dressing up. This is something these children are going to be wearing ostensibly every day to walk around. Now these. Shoes Shoes are meant for walking, not for running. Tell me a seven-year-old girl that doesn't like to run. She is going to twist her ankle, and the whole idea of being getting in shape will be gone because she'll be up on crutches. Um, the other thing is, any shoe that comes with a DVD and an instructional booklet on how to wear them is not something that I want my children, I have two daughters, to wear. I don't think that is safe. Stacy, thank you so much for joining us. And Regina, thank you for coming here and making your point as well, saying that, you know, this is fun and, and perhaps being taken too seriously. Two moms weighing in, we appreciate your viewpoints. And we also asked to hear from our viewers on this. A kid's prom proposal backfires when 